I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about integration by parts. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about section 7.2, integration by parts. And we will start with number seven, which asks us to evaluate the integral of x cosine x dx. Now, uh, when I use integration by parts on an integral, what I'm looking to do is to break it into two pieces. I'm looking to break it into a piece that we're going to call u, so I'll write that right here, and another piece that I'm going to call dv. All right, uh, and <clears throat> what I want out of my piece u is I know how to take its derivative. What I want out of my piece dv is I look for something that I know how to take its antiderivative. Now, in this case, I have an x and a cosine of x, both of which I know how to take their derivative and their antiderivative. So then what I'm looking to do is say, can I make it simpler? Like, can, if I take the derivative of x, I get 1. That's simpler than x. If I take the antiderivative of x, I get 1 half x squared, which is more complicated. So if possible, make things less complicated, not more complicated. So in this case, what I want to do when I'm breaking this up into a u and a dv is I want x to be the thing that I take the derivative of, and then everything else, which is cosine x dx, becomes my dv. All right, now I'm going to take a derivative, find du, and the derivative of x is dx, and then I'm going to take an antiderivative of dv, or find v, and the antiderivative would be uh, what? <clears throat> sine of x. All right, now what we need to do is we need to remember the formula for integration by parts. And uh, the formula is the following, that the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. All right, so this is the formula that I remember when I'm doing integration by parts. And uh, another way that I remember it is when I set this up. So this is what I'm trying to rewrite. Let's move that right over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say it's, the in, uh, it's u times v. So what I always do is I just draw a little arrow right here from the upper left to the bottom right, just to remember, okay, I'm gonna take this thing times this thing. So I draw in this diagonal arrow. So I have x times sine of x, x sine of x. Then I'm going to subtract the integral of v du. So I draw in this arrow to remind me, now I'm putting in this guy times this guy. So sine of x dx. So let's put in sine x dx. Okay, so what I've said is that the integral x cosine x dx could be written as x sine x minus integral of sine of x dx. Now this integral I can do. That's nice. So let's do it and find our antiderivative. So we've got that this is equal to x sine x minus the antiderivative of sine of x. And the antiderivative of sine of x is negative cosine of x plus a constant. And of course, the negatives here cancel, so I just get x sine x plus cosine x plus c. And we have our antiderivative. 